Hopkins. Even Marty, the degenerate, who's an alcoholic by 12. Uncle Donald, he hands me this shiny wee box. He's going on and on. Open it, boy, open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major Howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere, Uncle Donny grabs Major Howells and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Broom goes dead quiet. Uncle Donny just trucks. You've got to surprise the boy in his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Getting booby out there, team. Might want to buckle in. What the hell? Scratch that. Strap your shoots on. I ain't stopping on the island, but this storm might have other to a promising start, eh? This place is bringing up some bad memories. I need to get out of here. Hope the others made it. Anybody there? Kaliso, reporting for duty, sir. Glad you made it, soldier. You good? Huh. Bit banged up, but I'll survive. Any sign of the outsider? Negative. Kid! 
You out there? Reunited at last. You made it. No thanks to you, Cog. Goddamn maniac kicking me out of a burning plane. Well, outsider, seems like I should get a thank you, seeing as you're alive. You're assuming I want to be alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Teams back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? I'll find a way up to it. Looks like we could help each other up on that ridge. like a way through, but, uh, hmm. Problem, sir? The back isn't what it used to be, especially after that crash. Leave it to me, sir. Uh. Just need a moment. That dead tree's caught on some vines. Let's go. Bit of a ways down, huh? You got a problem with heights? <laughs> After what we've been through, can you blame me? This looks like the way through here. So. Either you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. <laughs> what the hell was that? Another reason to find that radio ASAP. Well, that is one fucked up plan. There's no way that radio's operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on! Grandmother left the Galangi Islands when she was young. But the photos are from this place. A hell of a way to reconnect with your roots. Flown off the plane. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now we're talking. My dad always told me I was lucky. Lucky as a locust in a long pants, he'd say. So that's why you were picked for the mission. 
Back up. You can never be too prepared for what's coming. more by the minute. You were saying something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? Look, some more supplies. I told you, lucky. I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Sign of the times, old man. The entire world is infected with it. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. Grandpa, my dad taught me to shoot. You're quite similar. Soldier? Asshole. next sir stick to the plan find the wreckage find the radio gotta be a way through here somewhere god damn flock you've seen them before I... Give me a hand. 
into it too? Quite a literal interpretation. Cockpit's on the other side of the door. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Gramps. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? There's a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while. They'll send someone. If they died in the crash as well. How are your survival skills? Terrible. Delivery driver, remember? Let's find that radio. This thing is absolutely destroyed. Nice spot to build a shelter, though. As we settle down into our new lives here on Hell Island. Station code SJK421. Activate defensive patrol. Survive. 
Sounds like the transponder straight. I'll take a look. I think I've got it. Ow. Hey, you still there? Oh, you made it. This is Zach. I'm here to get you. Got a location? On it. Why do we get the feeling that TAC isn't the only one we signal? Doobie's incoming! Looks like we're gonna have to earn that ride home. Here they come! The only ones that heard us.
Here's the results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. Shared sentiment, soldier? That's why you're here. Best to the best. This here's Hannah Colt. She's my number one on this covert operation. She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. But if we get this right, we can wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG, and through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? He's the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? All right, team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactor. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DBs, but lost contact. Commissioning sequence initiated by Special Operations Officer, Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait, Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah, long story. All right, guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operation. Control has assigned your team designation and Scorpio. Copy that, Jenna. Scorpio moving in. must report in with 
our Sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers? Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly does the right people mean? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important populations. Scholars, politicians, celebrities. And which category? Fit in graps. None of the above. Just a goon working for important people. This is decontamination. There should be a final security checkpoint on the other side. All citizens of Sanctum are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin. Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COG was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol my ass. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered, has uh, systems. There's an order to it. Real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. I should be able to get the system online. Just need a second here. That should do it. Activating Sanctum Core Systems. Stand by. So, what happened here? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <clears throat> Ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. So after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. The hell? Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Since the threat first emerged. 
Glad to hear that the Colonel and I are of similar minds. Yes, me? First Minister Jin's always been a bit too eager to use robots to solve her problems. My opinion? Find a plot of land far from all co- This panel must be connected to that door. Let's get it open. Let me take a look there, Gramps. Ah, someone had some views wrong way round. Ha! Got it! Resupply depleted. Imagine living buried to I would rather die in the sunshine than live underground. Give me vast open spaces, a good friend, and a bottle of whiskey. That's the way I want to go. Whiskey can be a friend. Oh, is it, is it just a volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, is that? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. Hannah, we've got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted. like the infestation has affected the elevators. Oh, is this weak gas bomb going to do the job? Yes. Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should work? Enough. Let's get down there. <clears throat> Of range. Wonderful. We need to keep moving. Come on.
Control room. Should be another access console somewhere. turning it off and on again. Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? It looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening maintenance. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. So what? so you can come through. Ventilation closed in subsection 28C. Potential heating hazard detected. Venting subsection 28C. What's that mean? Jubies! Sanctum, you've got the priorities all right.
ventilation station now within safe operating temperature. Proceed. Shit! Bastard! It's protecting the Scion! If the swarm doesn't kill us, the climate control will! Fuck it up, kid! of hand. should take her advice.
say it. We barely made it out of that one, and it's only going to get worse. We all know it. We are going to die down here. For what? You're afraid of dying? You should have thought of that before you took this on. Oh, believe me, I'm ready to die. But I want to count. You got some sort of death wish. Not a death wish. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. We're in. Let's go. We will fight our way inch by fucking inch if that's what it takes. We all took this mission to make a difference. We have our orders, outsider. Now, let's make it count. Look, old man, all I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going, this will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie. Almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can you? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count, brother.
was you didn't let us deploy it correctly. Enemies crossing overhead. Moving right to flank. Do these war bastards have nothing better to do? The island is on fire, you fucking idiot!
dead, or we would have died for nothing. That wasn't the mission. That's your decision. Uh, well, I think we can all agree the mission was a failure. Not if we uncovered new data. Anything? The drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. Or how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. No, I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy? My gran used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Hannah, you prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio. already. All right. Let's see if we can learn from the locals. What's the plan with the toxin, Hannah? If we obtain some of that nightmare acid from whatever attacked the swarm of the planet, we can combine it with the toxin I was sent from New Hope. Hopefully someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep. I'm working on a solution to that, too. Scorpio, give me a hand. Huh. Peaceful. Never thought I'd see where my family came from. Even with all the stories and memories she shared. But I've never told you why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hole over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. Hey, you can't just walk in. Just trying to find the quickest way to the hall. So, Hannah, didn't mean to ask. You any relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious is all. <laughs> Getting the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean, yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about Thrash Pop. I find it tedious. Augustus Cole. You know I saw him play. That ain't what I remember it for. Man to legend. The true definition of the cog foot by hero. Yeah, you're not wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, old train. He's a quiet man. Awfully This introspection about the war kept me far from the military. 
He wanted more from me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum and education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grip with a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. Had books on my ass. Interesting. No, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. Or? Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? Through Dad. Hoffman had the idea for this special project after what happened at New Hope. He got his hands on the New Hope toxin, but needed a specialist to do anything with it. And so, here I am, working on a plan to save the world. You know, Hoffman's been working on this plan for a long time. But when I first got here, he mostly rolled around in his wheelchair yelling out the window. He really the First Minister. All right. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Well, I hate parties. A little help here? No. Everyone's gone. God damn it. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Gran told me why Lehan. But I can try. The scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. Terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden, but let it not feed. The journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. Fear. Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden. Transformed. Light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? Feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu. A flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes, the Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Let's head into the village. This way. Damn, snipers. Shit. I hope that those bastards get here. How are we gonna handle this? We kill the swarm. Every last one of them. Come on, let's fight! Now they 
bomb was scoping out the area and stabbing the bastards in the neck. Fair point. Prefer a straight up fight to all this sneaking around. Right with you, brother.
We're clear. There's no bodies. No sign of the villagers. Where'd they go? They have more use for us alive, man. Those any pods here, though. They'd take them somewhere. A defensible structure. That temple up on the ridge. We can still save them. Let's go. You doing okay, Hannah? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. There are stories of people who survived being snatched and potted. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple. to believe it okay that we can still help come on look in the tree they collected feathers from the wakatu and brought them here no pods though no bodies what happened <laughs>
toxin coming from the feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. Yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. But right now, we need to find the villagers. Let's secure the village. Then, we can go hunting for that Wakatu of yours. One day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same page, sister. is going to be rolling over Hoffman at full speed if he hears about this little outing.
supplies deplete. We're not done with our hunt yet. Get the door. God damn. Look what we've got here. Silverback. I think we can put that wee death machine to good use, eh, Scorpio? We can't move it without power. Mac, this is all you. On it, Keegan.
we're making this right. With every inch of ground, we take back. Definitely feeling the need for a win here. on their entire species. I still don't understand how they got here from Pahanu. Looks like we found an answer, Hannah. The lava tubes. This is how they got here. Lava tubes? Then maybe they're connecting the island. Hannah, above you! I can't handle.
all of them. Anyone see where that snatcher went? Straight ahead. Deeper and... Getting away! Through here! them, potted them, changed them. They wanted to change me too, Keegan. It's okay. We're safe now. We've got to signal tech. Let them know where we are.
There are people who survive being snatched. Huh. Yeah. The stories are true, huh? Still there, Scorpio? Stretcher incoming. <sighs> Sorry, I got caught. Mess us all up. <sighs> She's on, Tag. Take her up. Hey, you made it. Back. That's all that matters. It'll take me a bit to secure the stretcher. You guys good for a few? We'll manage. Thank goodness. Honestly, I can't believe she survived. She did survive. What's on your mind? The stretcher is taking her to the heart of the hive. And we need a more efficient way to get there. Oh, no. You're not suggesting that we let them capture us. <laughs> Hold that thought! Swarm's here!
But Katu made quick work of the swarm. I feel good about Hannah's toxin plan. If we can manage to catch that thing. I'm not sure we can do it alone. Agreed. Now's the time to ask Hoffman to bring in some reinforcements. Oh, Keegan, this is not a call mission. What? Hoffman's gone rogue. Just us. Colonel Hoffman is a decorated cog veteran. I but just think for a second. The access codes to Sanctum. If Hoffman's working with the cog, why couldn't he just get those codes himself? That's... Oh, that's ridiculous. Join an actual COG mission? That man is used to doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh shit! This way! And another thing! If this was a legit operation, why would everything be so fucking secret? When we got here, we had no clue where we were going! Mech! Not the time! Minister rejected my plan to deal with the swarm. She said her damn robots could handle them. So I used my forced retirement to uh, launch a mission of my own. All this time, we were on a goddamn rogue operation? That's right. Look, I know your past. That you've all suffered and struggled, but you've still got that fight in you. Purpose. That's why we're here. It was our lives on the line. The fate of the entire planet is on the line, soldier. I'm not here to save the world. The swarm took my son. Dragged him screaming into the dark. I failed to protect him. To fight for him. I joined up to make these fuckers pay. And I planned to die doing it. But here we are. So, to hell with it. I'll live. And I'll fight for what family I have left. I won't stand by and watch more people suffer. Not when I can do something about it. We know how to get to the heart of the hive. All I need is one sample. And you'll get it. But I won't let my brother face this one alone. Wish I could have been there for you, Mac. And your son. But I'm here now. Well, that's it then. Once more into the screaming dark. Reason, sir. You'll 
get the job done. You guys ready to walk amongst the ancestors? Hey, the spirit walk, right? So, you were listening. Of course I was. have done for generations. Enter the faith and walk amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. There's our path. I'll be down. I'm living out what my parents and grand used to believe was mythology, just stories. I was in prison in grand's house. I wish she could see me now. It's none of my business, but... It's okay. Where's Ward now? You both should know. I fucked up. Deliberately ignored an order. Thought I knew better than everyone else and someone got killed. I see you. A good man. Truth is, as much as I want to go back, I don't know if there's a spot waiting for me. I know that feeling. Sometimes there ain't no going back. And I'm learning that might be okay. Lonnie, what's this? Some kind of effigy. My father used to carve pieces like it from wood. Said they would protect us from dark spirits. Being back in the action. Having a team at my side. I miss this feeling of being part of something bigger. I know that feeling too. This way. Give me a hand. Your old job. Still uh, classified? No. I can spin. I was part of the Brash Brigade. Locust cleanup crew. Cleanup crew? Some of the locusts survived the war. We made them disappear. Why? So, the emulsion countermeasure at Azura. As far as the public knows, the war ended there. But there was still more work to be done. Should be another way around. Through the ruins.
After all of us were fighting, I was stationed on Azura, doing basically guard duty. Onyx exiles, they called us. No glory, no rank, and no purpose for all those years. I'm sorry, Keegan. I don't know about all this rank stuff, but what you're doing here, this matters, brother. Thanks. I uh, appreciate that. say children used to walk this path. Well, they weren't any swarm back then. Aye, right. Then we're still on the right path. You know, before all this, I really thought my life was over. 
that I live out the rest of my days in prison. So you joined up when Halfman's crony found you, hmm? Exactly. Same here. What else can you do when you block him? Who needs ammo? some debris here. Down on Pahanu? You found 144B. It went down shortly before I arrived on Galangi. It was loaded with the initial DB4s to lead our charge into the bunker. Think we could recruit them to our cause? For the shot?
We're good. Take what supplies we can from this wreck. And let's see about getting that loading ramp opened up. <laughs> Mac, can you get it open? Not a problem. I'll get the door open. Got it! More DBs! Great! Even more unfriendly traitorous cogbots! from that vulture. Stupid bot. Tell me about it. But, but I wouldn't have given for their help when the swarm attacked my village. What happened? A slaughter. Then the terrifying quiet. Even if I wasn't miles from home, I couldn't have stopped it. I wasn't a fighter. You did what you could, Mac. And you lived. If I was such a coward, I would have died with him. Coward? Show me a man sacrificing more than one who's lost their child. I'd follow you into any fight. Thank you. Both of you. Hell of a fight going on down there. Should we take a look?
to the Wakatan tree from here. This river goes right to the tree. We just need a boat. There must be one around here. Ammo drop is spent. This boat here. You think this is it, Lonnie? Yes, this is it. It's been one hell of a journey, that's for sure. I only got this far thanks to your support. I uh, gotta admit, I was wrong about you, Mac. We both were. Well, I had my assumptions about you two as well. Look at us now. Team Scorpio, saving the planet. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Even the swarm must recognize the god of Bahamut. 
You know, my grand's final words to me were about struggle. Am I suffering to find the true line? The weak or the strong? I wanted to know which I'd be. She said, live and discover for yourself. That's the journey. I think I would have liked it. Doesn't matter how hard we tried to run from our past. Everything we did led us here. Led us to this island. A thousand miles from the war. This time I'm gonna make a goddamn difference. I thought this was my chance to prove myself. To the Brash Brigade. To the memory of my CO. My gran was right. The path of my life to determine who I become. He brought me home. Here. And gave me a new family. That one's for all of us. We survived a hell of a lot to find home, Scorpio. I say we fight like hell to save them. like this is it. Fear. The Wakatu wants to swarm off this island as much as we do. We should try to get the sample without killing it. Agreed. Be good to see the natural order restored.
reborn, renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Put up one hell of a fight. You, uh, think it'll live? Yeah, I do. It's a good day. Everyone survives. you to know. It's your fault, and I'm gonna fucking haunt you. How's your nerves, Major How? Oh, to hell with my anxiety. This time, I'm the surprise. See you on the other side. 